You'll notice the dome of warmth right here. See how everything's kind of moving up and around like that? There's a big ridge right here of heat. You know, it was in the low 90s in parts of Illinois today. Right on the edge of this is the warm front, and that serves as a railroad track for storm clusters to ride upon. We've already had one dive southward, and now the front's about right here, kind of trying to move back northward. So new storms are firing right along it. We've got the warnings up in northern Illinois and parts of Iowa. We've got the severe thunderstorm watch right up to Benton County until 4 a.m., and then it goes back into Illinois. And these are the wind farms. These are not new storms forming in Benton County right now. But we've got a few clouds out there. The front goes like this up towards northern Illinois. These storms up here will tend to congeal into kind of a mass or kind of a complex or cluster of rain and storms and tend to glide right down the warm front into our area. Now, Storm Prediction Center has everybody in a slight risk, scattered severe weather overnight. But I really think the best potential of storms that Perhaps some severe weather is going to be over the northern half of the viewing area tonight. The farther south you go, like Lafayette and southward, the less potential of storms tonight. That said, storms still lingering in the north in the morning. Then a mix of clouds and sun, 81 the high tomorrow. A couple of showers and storms still lingering in the north with isolated severe weather risk in the north part tomorrow. Marginal risk of severe weather. And notice the difference in the high temperatures. The front's about right here. There's a lake breeze front here. Only 66 smart Rensselaer, but 85 Covington, 76 Flora, 81 at Lafayette and Frankfort. Now on Saturday, everybody's dry, partly cloudy, windy, humid, 87 degrees, with 85 Crawfordsville, 87 Fowler and Remington to 84 at Logan Sport. Tonight, again, it's the mainly northern half of the area. Notice this zone right here. Complex of storms moves through that area with some severe weather risk, then a break, and then we may still see a couple isolated to spotty storms, mainly in the north, for uh, tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Everybody's dry, warm, windy Saturday, but a line of storms with severe weather risk may come in on Sunday, dry Monday, and then we got this severe weather right here to watch. Looks like it's coming in a little later. It may be like Tuesday evening, Tuesday night when this comes in with severe weather risk. Then it dries out. And the new data now has Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, mainly dry because of, check out this ridge, huge ridge from uh, southeast Canada all the way to the Gulf of Mexico with summer warmth right in this area. So if that happens, we're going to string together many days of temps way up into the 80s. 83 on Sunday, severe risk, 80 Monday dry, some late storms Tuesday, 83. 77 Wednesday, then, you know, we may get a few storms Thursday, but everything, if everything goes as planned as what I'm seeing in the data tonight, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday may end up totally dry. We'll wait and see. And I know you're always looking into the future, but today that, I don't know, half an hour, hour spurt of rain was crazy. It came in, blew in, rained, and then it was gone. And I saw in Indianapolis, too, my parents were like,